Hello, hello, my name is Becca and today's video is a little self-care day on one of those days where I just felt pouty, for lack of a better term. I was grumpy and I just wanted to sit on the couch with my arms crossed and go, my life's so hard, my life sucks so much, me, 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 me. You can be in that state of mind for, you know, uh, 15 minutes or so, but then you need to pull yourself out of it for yourself and those around you. It is already lunchtime at this point whenever I started filming and I'm making a big sandwich with some chips on my homemade sourdough bread. Something with some sustenance, you know, that's gonna keep me full, have me feeling satisfied. Ideally, you know, I would have some cake <laughs> to go with it, but I did not have any available to me this day. So the bread filled my carb need. It is really good to tidy up every day, of course, but especially whenever you're feeling down or in a funk, it's really nice to have a clean, refreshed environment to be in. And I had some work that I needed to do in the kitchen anyway. And although this is the day that I want to least do it, it might be the day that's most important for me to actually get it done. I feel accomplished afterwards. It doesn't take me very long. And I mean, you know, I'm caring for myself and my home by doing this. So we unload, we reload, we wipe down. Actually, I think that on this day, I also realized that we had some ants around this window here that you can see. And I contacted the, a pest company after I got done cleaning in here. And somebody's already come out. We've eradicated the ants, so all good. But that just meant that it was even more important that I tidy up a little bit to keep the ants starved. Just kidding, I do actually feel a little bit bad about killing them, but then Jared told me some statistic about how many ants there were. There's like 2 million ants per person or something like that on earth. It's insane. So yeah, they can't stay in my house, of course. Gotta do what I gotta do. You can see I was standing with my hands behind my back just observing them. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so of course we need to get the counters wipe down and all the crumbs off. Like I said earlier, I have a loaf of homemade sourdough bread in my bread bag there, but that also gets crumbs places. So there's lots of little snacks for the ants that I needed to remove. If you have pets or can go be around animals or get outdoors, you know, I really, I think that all of those things kind of give you the same feeling, just being connected and present. And of course with dogs, they give you affection and that feels really good too. Yeah, spend some time with them. Okay, so as you can see, we have a couple little paw print problem areas <laughs> around here where the dogs have gone out while it was raining and brought in little muddy prints. So I did go ahead and vacuum and steam mop the floors and it was a little much. I didn't film it. It was a lot to do on a day that I felt so bleh, but it was so nice to not have this little muddy footprints on the floor anymore. And also cleaning floors is pretty quick and easy. So if your floors need to be cleaned and you are in a funk, clean your floors, do it. By this time we are approaching the evening and I wanted to get out of the house and move my body. So I loaded up and went to the gym and I think I was only there like 20 minutes to be honest. Usually I would be on the treadmill for about 30. I did do some intervals of jogging and got my heart rate up and it felt good.
once we're home, we've served our bodies well by eating well today. We have tidied our space, served ourselves and our home in that way. And it's time to pamper ourselves, baby. So I take a nice, long, hot shower. I shave my legs. Then whenever I get out, I want to be clean as a whistle that nobody's ever blown in before because if you've used a whistle, it's no longer clean. But I wanna be as clean as a brand new whistle. Okay, so I clean my teeth really good. I do my water pick and I brush them and then I put a face mask on. This is the first time that I've ever used a face mask and it's kind of scary. I look like the I like Tuttle's kid because it hardens over time and gets super white. So that was, that was kind of cool. While that is sitting, I went ahead and lotioned my body. And then I'm going to brush through my hair, throw it in a braid. That's just easy, keeps it out of my face. And moisturize. Then I also put on eye cream and some aquifer on my lips. And I'm feeling good. I feel like I have been productive. I've accomplished stuff. I've treated my body well. If you're gonna be pouty, this is the best way to do it. But I think that there is a large chance that you will feel better. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.